Hi fellow birdies. birdies! Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be reviewing Starbucks brand new holiday items that just came out uh, as of yesterday. Now they came out with a bunch of new treats and a bunch of new drinks and we've got several of them here and we're going to give them a taste test and see how we like them. So you guys ready? Let's mm -hmm. get started. So the first thing we're going to try, try our drinks. Now I got the new ice sugar cookie almond milk latte. Now we don't like coffee so but this is sugar cookie flavored syrup combined with Starbucks Blonde Espresso mm -hmm. and almond milk over ice topped with red and green sparkles or sprinkles sorry. <laughs> and you got the caramel brulee cream Steamed milk and rich caramel brulee sauce, deliciously finished with whipped cream and a caramel brulee topping. Mm -hmm. So, we got the tallest. Here, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is that, rich. I know, this is, tastes very, very, very sweet. Like, I'm not sure if it reminds me of sugar cookie, but... I definitely like how sweet it is. Like, I like it so much I already almost finished it already. So this is really, really good. It's very sweet. And um, it definitely has a good, good flavor. Like, you could even tell this is made with almond milk. So yeah, honestly, if I had to rate this, I would give it a four. I would go here just to, to get this. I love how perfectly sweet it is like it's not overly done and it definitely tastes better iced like I usually like iced coffee better than hot coffee but overall this is perfect this is like I think their very first non-dairy coffee beverage or something I don't know what it is this is very first of something it's really good Mine's pretty sweet as well, but it's got a little bit of bitter aftertaste. That's why I was wondering if it had coffee in it. Um, yeah, so it made sure we didn't add coffee to that, you know, that's what it said on this. It's a themed milk. I'm going to rate mine a two. I don't really care for the bitterness. You know, all the sweetness is good. All right, so the next thing is we're going to try out our cute cake pops now. Unfortunately, one of them got smashed, but oh well. So this is the reindeer cake pop. Vanilla cake interior with chocolatey icing finished with a festive red nose and antlers. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Rudolph. Mm hmm. Their this cake one pops are like. always good. Mm hmm. Like, I hear a lot of people just go here to get cake pops, <laughs> especially sons. They're not really made anywhere else around here. Of course, you can make them at home too, but like, this is perfection. Mm -hmm. We should do a, like a you know, cooking you know, a cake pop video. Mm -hmm. we can. But I definitely liked the cute exterior, and it definitely reminds me a lot of their classic, you know, vanilla cake pop. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Got that nice hot chocolate, you know, taste to them. Mm -hmm. I'd give this like, um, God, I liked it too. I'll give it a four. <laughs> I like how perfectly sweet it was. Would you go here specifically for it? Yes. Then a four Definitely. is for you. I give it a three. It's good. I really like it. But I'm not going to go here just for it. So, and I definitely add it to my plate, but I'm not going to like come to the restaurant just to get this. This, that's a three in my book. Out of four. The next one we got is a snowman cookie. Ain't that cute? The snowman <laughs> was a jolly <laughs> so. Don't know the words. The so, cookie. this is a buttery shortbread snowman cookie dressed up in white chocolatey icing. And now it's headless frosty. That's headless. So, here we go. Hmm. Definitely very crumbly. Let's see it. I guess I'd have to say I'm not like really so much of a short, um, not short, <laughs> a fan of shortbread cookies. It kind of stuck in your mouth kind of easy. And it's crumbly. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Let's see. Although the icing on top is not bad. Like it does add that nice sweetness to it. But mm -hmm. I would have to probably give this like a two. I just don't like the shortbread cooking part of it so much. I'm giving it a three myself. I do like the icing, like she said. Very, uh, nice and sweet. Plus, I'm a big fan of icing in general. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The, you know, taste of the cookie is actually quite good. It's a little bit... It is, and she is right that it uh, sticks a bit in your mouth. But it's got an excellent flavor. Which, in my opinion, takes up to a three. I would definitely add this to my plate. Alright, so this next thing we have is called the Cranberry Bliss Bar. Oh, that looks mm. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So it's a blondie cake with dried mm -hmm. cranberries. Finished um, with a layer of cream cheese icing flecked with orange zest and a sprinkle of dried cranberries. So this has actually been around for a while, I think, but you know, I'm not the biggest fan of cranberries as you last saw in the IHOP video we did with the cranberry pancakes. So we see how this does. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That cream cheese icing makes this a lot better. Like, I can definitely taste the zing of the cream cheese icing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I love Wandy's. It's like, mm, I think it's a type of brownie sort of thing. Blondie. Wow, this is good. I definitely like this too. You can taste the orange zest too. I taste the slight orange flavor. I don't taste the cranberries so, no, quite so much. It's more like um, cream cheese and orange mm. zest to me for some reason. I mostly taste the cranberry, you know, and the you know cream cheese. But... That was good. Like it's hard to decide between a three or a four, <laughs> honestly. So, I probably like second effort three. Like, I wouldn't go here just to get it, but it definitely would be added to my plate. Like, I loved the combination of the cream cheese icing and the real should call this an orange, you know, bliss bar. It doesn't really remind me of, like, cranberries. It's more like the orange zest flavor added to it. So, it's like orange on top of icing sort of thing. So, but I really like that. I'll give it a three myself. I really like, you know, the cream cheese. And, you know, I'm a big fan of cranberries. <laughs> the orange wasn't too distracting. The, you know, bar itself wasn't, like, I like didn't get in the way of it at all. But it's not quite to the point that I'd go to the restaurant just to have it. So, it's a three. And we have one last item here. Now, this is brand new as well. This is the Sugar Plum Cheese Danish. So, it's cream cheese filled, filling surrounded by a fluffy danish topped with a spiced Sugar plum spread, a dreamy combination of flavors that will inspire visions. And visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. <laughs> so let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Reminds me of those turnovers. Yeah, it's definitely a bit warmer than I expected. Mm-hmm. It's like they warmed it up. Before it makes me of a pie. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, um, let's see, spiced sugar plum. I'm not sure what plums are we supposed to taste like. This kind of reminds me of like those apple, it kind of reminds me more of like an apple pie sort of thing in the way it tastes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it kind of reminds me of too. Mm. But I love those. These are definitely good, I'd say. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a three out of four. Because I definitely add to my plate. It's very tasty. Not quite enough that I, not enough that I you know, come here just for it, but it's good. Very good, in fact. I would give it like an upper three myself. It's almost a four. Like, I love how it reminded me so much of the pies that you find at the bakers and stuff. And I didn't know, like like I said, what plums taste like. It sort of reminds me more of like a traditional apple pie, mm -hmm. sort of in the flavor. But I really liked the cream cheese filling inside too. That added a nice flavor and touch. So 
And it felt nice and warm and soft. And honestly, I really enjoyed that one. So hmm? that was like a three for me. Indeed. I can see why the kids have visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. <laughs> the sugar plum fairies. <laughs> hey, my family reads Night Before Christmas every single Christmas. I've gotten to let know a good chunk of the lines. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Starbucks brand new holiday items for 2021. If you haven't done so already, go to your nearest Starbucks and try them out and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. We would love to hear them. Mm-hmm. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And we will see you guys in the next video. Yep. This is... Actually, I'll let you do it. This is this is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.